So what's the difference in down? So let's talk about the differences in down. Fill power is really a measurement of quality or the effectiveness or efficiency of down. So what I have here, uh, and I already took some out, but we have equal weight. So uh, about a half an ounce of both 650 down and 850 down. And it's important to notice that although these weigh the same, you can see that you've got far more loft, about 30% more loft in the 850 than you do in the 650. What does this equate to? What does it mean? It means you're going to get a higher warmth to weight ratio out of a higher fill power. Again, 650 is not gonna be as warm as 850. Now you can get it to as warm, but you probably need about 1.3 ounces to about one ounce of the 850. So again, meaning you're gonna get a lighter, more compressible garment or sleeping bag out of a higher fill power. Now that's just fill power. That's not gonna help you fully understand the warmth and efficiency or thermal efficiency of a garment or sleeping bag without also knowing the fill weight. So what does that mean, the fill weight? Fill weight is how much insulation we're actually putting into a garment. A good way to visualize fill weight is here we have a jacket with 850 and another jacket with 850 fill power, but how do you know which one's gonna be warmer? This one has 5.6 ounces of fill this one has just over two ounces of fill. Uh, because they have the same fill power, I know that this one with more insulation in it, more fill weight, is certainly gonna be warmer than the one with only two ounces. Two totally different garments for different scenarios. This one's probably gonna be your mid to late season insulation. This one's probably gonna be your early insulation. So both have value. It's just really important to understand them apples to apples when comparing what your needs are. So now that we understand fill power, we understand what fill weight means. Um, the last piece of the puzzle when making a decision specifically on a sleeping bag is gonna be the shape. So square or rectangular sleeping bag is gonna require more insulation. It's also gonna be less thermally efficient simply because insulation doesn't create warmth, it retains warmth. So if your sleeping bag has more dead space in it, it's gonna take longer to heat up or to warm up or to retain that heat. Um, and so that's why most manufacturers, most sleeping bag companies are gonna make a mummy bag. Not only is it lighter, not only is it more compressible, but it's gonna be more thermally regulating. This thing's gonna warm up faster because there's far less dead space. All right, so we've covered down, we've covered fill power, we've covered fill weight, we've covered shape. All those things should and will help you make an informed decision when you're shopping for winter gear or sleeping bags. Thanks, I hope that helped.